What's up, guys? Steven here today. And today what I wanted to talk to you about is swag mantra. Now, the reason why I mention this is because essentially a lot of times, even though it might sound like some politically correct or being politically correct kind of thing, I noticed that um, like the mindset that people have when it comes to a particular action, like the symbolic representation of that idea or action tends to be a lot more denser when it could be light, right? Now, the direct example that I'm going to take is just Dragon Ball Z because it's like the easiest way of explaining it. But essentially what happens is Goku at one point transcends Super Saiyan, right? Which is like this... I can't even break it down. You just got to look into it yourself. You will fucking love it. But anyways, and this for people's references is in the Cell Saga, right? So they're preparing to fight Cell, and he goes in the hyperbolic chamber, and then he transcends Super Saiyan, right? Now the first form that he transcends Super Saiyan to has a fuck ton of power, right? Meaning when he transforms to that, when he goes into that form beyond Super Saiyan 1, he gets really fucking swole, really powerful. His like power level just shoots up all types of shit, right? But because Goku's swag is fuck, he doesn't just stop there. And so he trains or um, operates or feels what it's like to walk around and fight in that form, right? And in doing that, he realizes that, holy shit, as much as this form gives me a fuck ton of power, it's incredibly lacking in speed and agility. So what this means is, as much, even though he's strong as fuck and really powerful, if he can't hit his target, it's absolutely, at the end of the day, useless, right? It's like being big, but not being able to fucking lift, like, a furniture or some shit that you should be able to lift. <laughs> so he's like, ah, oh, fuck. Okay, so he just goes back down to his base form, to his regular form, and he just trains that base form, right? Kind of like going back to the fundamentals. And then in doing that, he actually raises the base power level of his baseline form. And so now... By doing that, he finds a way of combining the process he uses to transform or transcend beyond Super Saiyan. And so now he actually creates another state, more stable form of Super Saiyan. So right, he creates a real Super Saiyan 2 form. And in this form, he's able to literally be way fucking stronger while also maintaining his agility and speed, right? So what does this mean with swag mantra? Now, for the sake of like clarity and understanding, I just define a mantra as a symbolic, a multi-dimensional symbolic representation of something, right? It could be an idea. Most likely it tends to be an idea, right? So for um, a topic, let's actually, let's just keep that an idea because that makes the most sense. Right. So, for example, for some people, the mantra for fucking business is fucking money, right? Dollar signs. For other people, the mantra for um, love is like the heart, right? Et cetera, et cetera. Now, the reason why I'm talking about this is a lot of times people choose mantras that have a ton of energy attached to them, like strong energy, right? But at the same time, it's really dense, meaning as much as it makes them, it empowers them, it also poisons, poisons them or distorts their perception of reality in one way or the other, right? It's like getting really rich, but also um, letting the fame or the money or the, six, the, mater, the success of the material wealth get to your head and you become extremely egotistical and like a piece of shit, like, like, a, like a dick, an asshole, 
just a terrible human being, right? So just be careful of um, the idea or the energetic representation that you tie to the things you want, if that makes sense. Because a lot of times, for example, people are like, fuck yeah, I'm doing this because I'm a fucking show him. I'm a show him that I'm the motherfucking best. I'm the shit. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> but super, more serious, like more serious than that voice. I just did it for the sake of enjoyment. But if you noticed, saying that actually makes you feel better about yourself, right? Because you feel like you're the shit. You feel like other people on some level are below you. And you feel like you could fucking wreck anyone. And the latter part is why that's a shitty mantra or a shitty representation uh, or shitty way of empowering yourself, essentially. Because as much as it makes you feel better, it's coming from the wrong place, right? I've always believed that, like, a swag human being is just fucking okay with himself. Meaning, there's a line, hurt, or someone... (laughs) I was... So a wise man once said that you have value simply becomes because it's you, because you're you, you're a human being, meaning the set, the combination that makes up who you are, the ideas, the beliefs, the perspective, the spiritual insights, the spiritual experiences, all those things combined make up you in a way that literally you are a special, unique snowflake. And because of those particular experiences and that particular combination, you're valuable. Meaning, everything that has contributed to make up you has essentially made it to where you have a unique set of eyes, a unique perspective, a unique way of looking at the world. And that's why you're valuable. It's not because of anything else. It's not because of wealth or status or the shit you can do. It's literally because you're a human being, because you're a life form, and because you live here on Earth. So don't ever get fucking told otherwise. And funny enough, the reason when you start believing that you're valuable because of something external or instead of something Instead of what's in here, the fucking heart, the soul, you'll notice how just shit always fucking tends to hit the fan. You'll notice how life is so fucking hard and depressing. How you always have to essentially find something to amp yourself up, get yourself going. It could be drinking, it could be smoking, taking drugs, particular fucking substance. Simply because on some level, you haven't accepted that you're cool, that you are valuable because it's just you. And it's really hard, especially today in society, where um, everything almost feels like if you don't have something, then you're not, right? The fucking advertising and just bullshit selling, right? That instead of just um, moving you up from where you are, they... It's almost like they have to like break you first and show you how shitty you are and make you feel bad. And then since you're in that vulnerable state of mind emotionally, then that's when they present to you their product or whatever, which is bullshit at the end of the day because you're in the first place. Most likely never even needed it. <laughs> but that's what happens. That's what bad salesmen do, right? So just remember that the ideas that empower you, that bring you energy, should always be light, like through and through. Something like, haha, I'm awesome because I'm me. Even though it sounds corny, if you accept it and let it land, you'll realize that the world literally becomes lighter because it's just supposed to be, right? Like it just makes sense. 
and I feel like I'm kind of um, not doing a good job of articulating it, but it's literally the best way how I would put it. It's like find ways that imp- find ideas, find mantras, find multi-dimensional symbolic representations that are alike, right? For example, in my culture, there's tons of stuff that like empower you, but they're so fucking dense and the cost is so high that it's just not worth even engaging with it, right? Much better to like do the work, I would say fucking hustle, work on yourself and get yourself to finally accept yourself and love yourself if it means actually executing on the things you you've been wanting to do and that's it if it means meditating and just sitting down not moving and just realizing that holy shit all the things you've been running after at the end of the day it's trivial and as awesome as it is to run after them just remember that you're gonna fucking die and just leave all that shit behind Right, so at the end, it really doesn't matter. And that allows you to just be serious without taking yourself too seriously, right? And then it allows you to actually, huh, also care about things that have real meaning, things that like have real value. And then you, from there, you actually go on to actually see what you hold to be important, right? So beliefs and value system kind of went over all over the place but I hope this makes sense just take Goku's lead (laughs) just remember that power without freedom is fucking slavery (laughs) it's like anything that makes you feel heavy is at the end not an advantage no matter how shiny it looks. So try to be light. Try to make things light in your head. Try to keep light ideas. And from then on, you'll see how shit just clicks. Like, just... And then you'll gain greater insights and understanding. You're like, oh, you know, I could see what this happened. I mean, it, it's almost like literally your mind just wakes up and opens up. And instead of like... It getting stuck on noise and chatter and bullshit, you'll be like, holy shit, everything fucking makes sense. I can see the world. Just connecting dots everywhere. (laughs) Anyways, hope you guys got something out of this. And as always, swag the fuck out.